Hey guys, this is the Venture Weights channel, and I am Reese Dixon, and I am here at Douglas Castle in uh, Douglas, Scotland. Uh, this is the famous battle where they retook the uh, Castle Douglas in the movie The Outlaw King. Well, one of my ancestors, his name was Thomas Dixon, which that's my middle name, Reese Thomas Dixon. Uh, participated in the, in the battle here with uh, Sir James Douglas and uh, he ultimately was killed here but uh, I am on the ground that he walked I'm on the ground that he lived and eventually died um, England never accepted the Scots right to govern their own nation and continued to be a thorn in the side of the Scots monarchy at one point in time the good Lord Douglas, which is Sir James Douglas, uh, English troops stormed Castle Douglas and garrisoned them themselves there. So at, at, at that time, like I said, uh, the English took over this castle from the Douglases and it had a garrison of English soldiers here. Uh, Lord Douglas returned from his travels and secretly made his way to Thomas Dixon's home at Hazelside, which is south of this site. Uh, oh, excuse me, west of, uh, it's actually west of Castle Douglas. The first point to note here is that uh, Thomas is now on his second generation of, uh, of uh, Douglas's lord. He has been a follower of William Douglas Lahardy and supported him physically in battle and is now, he was made Castellan, Castellan of Castle Douglas or uh, Castle uh, Douglas Castle. Which, which means like he was the protector of this castle. It is said that when Lord James Douglas returned to Douglas, Thomas was now 60 years old. There, Lord Douglas and Thomas planned the operation to retake the castle, gathering and instructing supporters who would participate in the operation. The plan was to attack. The attack would take place while the soldiers, the English soldiers were at worship in the castle chapel on Palm Sunday, 1307, which would have been the 19th of March. Although ultimately successful, the attack did not go entirely to plan, and Thomas was wounded, but he, <clears throat> but he and uh, on the other fought on until others arrived on the scene. Thomas ultimately paying the price with his life. Tradition states that Thomas was slashed across his abdomen, but continued to fight, holding his abdomen wound closed in one hand until he finally dropped dead. Supposedly, he had killed 10 more men while holding his entrails inside of his, uh, his stomach until he fell dead. After this battle, and after uh, Robert the Bruce was pronounced king, he gave, he cited lands to uh, my family, well, the Dixons at the time, to uh, Hazelside, south here, in perpetuity. So, that's the story of that. Actually, if you've seen the movie uh, Outlaw King, you actually saw what happened. Look at the end of the credits and Thomas Dixon is one of the characters in there. So, hey, have a good day and William Dixon, this is for you too. Hopefully, uh, you like this. Thanks.